Namaskaram. On the last class, we learned how to play Sarali Varese without any gamakas on the third string. On this class, we will try and learn some very simple gamakas so that we can incorporate them into how we play it. Before I start, I just wanted to iterate on a point that I perhaps missed to mention on the last class that there is a difference between Sarali Varese and Arohanam and Avarohanam. Uh, though what we played last class was both, coincidentally. Arohanam and Avarohanam is a property of a raga. It is defining the usually linear structure upwards of the raga starting from the sa and Avarohanam the same way the downward travel. Sarali Varese is an exercise, it's not a property of Raga, but it's an exercise that is generally taught to beginners in Carnatic music. And the first Sarali Varese is also basically just the Arohanam and Avarohanam of Maya Malavagada. With that clarified, let's start looking at some Gamakas that, are, that can be played in Maya Malavagada when playing the Sarali Varese. The first Gamaka comes in Ri. Sa, is usually, sa and Pa are usually played plain in most of the Ragas. So you would, it's hard, it's rare to see any kamaka being played or sung for the swara sa or pa, so shadjam and panjam. So even in Maya Malavgavla, we play sa plain, so that's sa. However, for ri, we can play a kamaka called the kampita kamaka, which is an oscillation between sa and ri. So it's sa re. If you see, it starts on sa and then oscillates between sa and ri, shadjam and rishabam. And the Rishabha that we are using is the first fret um, because this is our Sa. So the immediate next note to Sa is the Rishabham here. And it's played as Sa Ri. So, so it's an oscillation, as you said, between open and the first fret. So slightly difficult here because I'm playing it on the open string. Let me demonstrate it. On the same note, which is also available on the fourth string, this is also G. So, as I said, Sa and Ri is the immediate next note. So, this is. That's how you can play Ri. And then Ga is the next one where there is a Gamaka. And this is a relatively easy slide Gamaka, which you see a lot in Carnatic music. And it's a slide from Ri to Ga. So, Ga. Let's play ma plain for now. So let's recap now. Sa was plain. Ri was a kampita gamakam. Ga was a slide. And now ma. Pa again is usually played. There is usually no gamakas associated with the panchavam as well. So pa is also plain. Dha. Now you see something similar here. We are going to try and replicate the exact same gamakas we played for. Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma in Pa, Dha, Nisa. So Pa is plain, like how Sa was plain. And then Dha is going to be a Kampitam, like how Ri was a Kampitam. So we played. We're going to play. It's Pa, Dha. And then Ni is going to be same as Ga in terms of the Gamaka that is played there. So it's a slide from Dha to Ni. Ni. Sa is again plain. Did we cover that properly? Let's do it once again. So Sa plain. Ri is a kampitam. Third is a slide. Ga. Ma. So we did plain. Kampita gamakam. Slide. Plain. The same happens again. Plain. Kampita gamakam. Slide. Plain. I'm going to play it again. The same concept can be extended to the Avarohanam or the second part of the Sarali Varese as well. So this is plain and it's a, again a kampitam between the upper Sa and Ni. And then again a slide. So plain, kampitam, knee, slide, 
of the first plane. Now what's Ma Ga Re Sa gonna be? Ma is again plane, Kampitan, slide, and again a plane. We are choosing the gamakas conveniently so that they can be repeated. So like how you saw, plane, Kampitan, slide, plane, plane, Kampitan, slide, sounds a little bit more like a raga and less like a ordinary scale. Another topic that I want to touch upon for this tutorial was the choice of string that we made. We chose very conveniently use, to use one string for the entirety of the Saturday Versailles, but we don't have to. As I said, so there is also a G available in various other points in the guitar. One such point is here. And you can feel, you can hear this so third string when played open the same as the fourth string when played on the fifth fret so whatever i play here can also be played yeah the reason i chose one string to show the entire of sarali varisai first the last time was so that you get an idea of how apart the notes are the sha ri ga ma pa da ni sa now that we figured it out, we can try and leverage the fact that we have multiple strings available in the guitar. So I would play Sari Gama Padanisa this way. Sa is there. Ri. Ga. Ma. Now you notice how they are equally, as equally apart as they were when we played it there. It's just that the first note we chose differently. This first note here was open. The first note here is on the fifth fret. So. string for pa again because it's convenient for me. I don't have to move much after doing My index finger is almost already there when I play ma. Now we played without the gamaka. Let's try playing this again with the gamakas that we just learned. But we're using the fact that there are multiple strings in a guitar and the same note can be found in other places in other strings. So instead of playing Sa here, we're playing it here. Instead of playing Re like that, we're playing it here. Instead of playing Ga as we're playing it here. I hope you get the analogy now. Another question you may have is why did we choose G? This is also a choice that you can make. Maybe you want to choose another note to begin playing with. The reason I chose was just out of coincidence and also we have the advantage that one of the six strings in standard tuning is already tuned to G. We don't have to necessarily stick to G. I'm going to change now to a different Shruti and let's see how things would change around. And again, I'm not insisting that you learn this. I'm just trying to elaborate on the concept here. Let's change it to D to give an example. This is how D sounds like. And on the guitar, D is available here. So if this was our Sa, how would we have to play Sarigama? It would be... You see, something is not changing. Something is changing for sure and that's the note where we are starting. But what is not changing is the number of frets that I am coming forward. The was the immediate next fret to Sa and it still is. When I played it at G, the same way I'm playing it right now at D. I could then play... But I, I would rather choose to play it in a different string. So... I know that there's Pa here. So So 
just to explain a concept that we don't have to generally stick to any single key or any single string or anything. We can start anywhere, you can play anything in any string, any, any manner that you want to do. The only thing you have to make sure is that you play them with the gamakas that are part of a raga and you play them in tempo. Let me also take a quick minute to show you where the gamakas that we just played in Sarali Varisai will find their place in advanced compositional forms like Kritis or Kirtanams. One example for a Kirtanam in my of Gaula is Deva Deva Kalamite. It goes a little bit like this. Deva Deva Kalayamite Charanam Buja Sevanam Deva Deva Kalayamite So, just the first line. I'll try and play it in guitar. And you guys comment down on this video where you feel the gamakas that I played here are similar to the ones that we played for the Sarali Verse. Yeah? Where was it similar? Please let me know. We'll see you in the next class.